Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you a whole whack of perfumes that are kind of my favorite fruity uh, fragrances. So there's something for everyone. There's kind of some sexy ones. There's some fresh ones. What they all have in common is that they are all just slightly fruity. So uh, yeah, many different kinds of fruits I'm staring at. Basically, I'm staring at a huge fruit buffet of fragrance. So uh, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that channel button, whatever the thing that makes you subscribe. Go ahead and hit that. Join the weird, wonderful family. I would love for you to be a part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. So um, yes, each one is different. It's like a huge bowl of fruit in front of me, a fruit, bro a fruit bun, a fruit bowl, a fruit fruit. What the heck is wrong with my mouth? <laughs> a fruit brunch of fragrances in front of me. So, um, yes. Uh, now I tried to pick fragrances where the fruit kind of is the main player in the fragrance. For the majority of these, it's that juicy, fruity, mouth-watering fragrance. Uh, yeah, I want to share those with you. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go over all the notes because that would take too long. I've got like, I think 16 here. So get a drink, get ready to enjoy my fruit ganza. <laughs> Okay, um, I also have like a, a whole variety of prices, but I don't think anything really is over $100 if you buy it on FragranceNet or like one of those types of websites. Definitely nothing's over $100. Uh, but I'm going to start with my most affordable one, and that is Zara Yellow Sun. Now this one, uh, the it's just... It smells so cheery whenever I smell this one. The longevity on this one is hideous, but it just smells like a big, huge, uh, bright, sunshiny smell. Like that's what it is. The fruit in here is apple and apricot. And what I get mainly is that apricot smell. It, the apple is just kind of, um, it's in there, but I don't really notice it. I notice mainly that apricot. And when I think of the apricot in this one, I think of um, a fresh, bright, sweet apricot. So not a dried apricot, fresh. So this one is really good. If you can find this one, uh, I know they change out their packaging all the time, but this yellow sun one is just so happy and wonderful for summer. Uh, and like I said, not very long lasting, but it's great if you want like kind of a quick pick me up. The other one that has apricot in it is Casimir by Chopard. Now I don't talk about this one very much because I honestly don't wear it that often, but whenever I smell it, it really makes me happy. It's definitely a more dated uh, smelling fragrance, but I just love it. Now this one has, <laughs> This one has a ton of notes. I'm gonna just read them off here. Peach, apricot, raspberry, mango, black currant, bergamot, and mandarin. Now in this one, what I primarily get is that apricot fragrance. Maybe a little bit of peach, but mainly apricot. But this one, where this one smells like fresh, bright, juicy apricot, this smells more like a dried apricot. Um, definitely dry, a little bit dusty. Uh, it's quite gourmand. Uh, with all those notes, but it smells like it's either dried or baked. Uh, that's what I get from this one. So if you want kind of a warmer, uh, warmer one, try this one. It just, it, it just brings back, it just makes me feel warm inside. This one is invigorating. This one is warming. The next note that I want to talk about is passion fruit. So I have two uh, fragrances that have more passion fruit in them. Uh, than anything else. And the first one is Angel Muse EDT. Now this one differs from the EDP. This one has passion fruit, mandarin, and lemon in it. And definitely that opening is super, super passion fruity, super like bright, juicy uh, fruit is what you get off the bat. And then as it dries down, you still get that fruit, but you also get that hazelnut chocolate coming out. So this one's really nice. If you find that the patchouli in the EDP is too strong, try this one. Uh, this one's great for summer too. So if you're a major lover of Angel Muse, but it, like it gets too heavy for spring and summer, you should really give this one a try because it's really pretty. It doesn't last as long as the EDP, but you still get about five, six hours out of this one. And it's a major projector for sure. 
Now the other passion fruit fragrance I have is Jasmine Wisp. Now this was one that I considered not putting in uh, because I'm not smelling, I don't know, like it definitely smells fruity, but it's kind of just a different fruit smell, but it's definitely still fruity. This one uh, says that it has citrus, passion fruit, pear, and peach, but I just, I get primarily passion fruit in this one. So it, it's, it's got a similar vibe, like they don't smell anything alike, but that tart, bright passion fruit, I definitely get that in this one, although this one is warmer than this one. So this one, uh, this one's tartar and brighter. This one's warmer and a bit sweeter, to be honest, I would say. But I love this one. This one stays juicy and smelling like passion fruit the whole entire time. So or at least that's what I find with it. So I know this one has florals in it and all sorts of notes, uh, but I mainly get that kind of fruity vibe and I just love, like it just kind of wafts up. This one's major heavy hitter uh, and I love this. Um, a lot of these, I, like um, people have been asking me, you know, is that a good blind buy? Is this a good blind buy? Honestly, that's a really subjective question. So I appreciate the question, but it's really hard to answer because what I like is not necessarily what you're going to like. Uh, this one for sure, I would say, is not blind by safe. So uh, this one may be a little bit more blind by safe. Maybe this one too, uh, if you're a fruity lover. But some of these, uh, they're just, uh, it's pretty polarizing. So this one definitely not blind by worthy, but I, I love it. It's one of, like, I'm kind of like addicted to the thing. I'm addicted to it. Okay, moving on. Now I have two raspberry fragrances that I absolutely adore. And the first one is So Scandal. First of all, I love this bottle. I just think it's gorgeous. I love the legs. Mine is not silver. I think it must have oxidized a bit because it almost looks gold. Is anybody else notice that? Like maybe it's my imagination, but when I hold it up to the silver, it definitely looks more gold than silver. So I don't know. I don't, maybe it, it, that's intended. I'm not sure I bought this bottle used, but this one, it's got raspberry. It has tuberose and milk in it too, but uh, that raspberry is so bright, so juicy, smells kind of like candy more than just a fresh raspberry, but I absolutely love this one. And I notice the raspberry for the whole entire time when I'm wearing this one. I just think it's bright, juicy, fun, uplifting. I think that's the thing about fruity fragrances is I find them super uplifting and uh, just cheery. They're great for the day, they're refreshing. Uh, so depending on the, the fruit, um, yeah, I just, I, I honestly, fruit fragrances are some of my absolute favorites. They always put me in a good mood. So the other raspberry heavy fragrance I have is Wonderland Peony by Floral Street. Now, first of all, I love the bottle on this one. You can get uh, Floral Street fragrances at Sephora, but this one, uh, it actually says that it has raspberry bloom in it. The fruit notes are guava, lemon, and red berries, um, but I get raspberry. So it says it has raspberry bloom in this. These two are really actually kind of similar, except this has, um, you know, a little bit different florals. Uh, this one is just straight tuberose, so it's a little bit sweeter. This one smells more, a little bit more heady, I would say. Uh, it's supposedly got peony in it, uh, but I, I love this one. It's just, it's uplifting. It's got cotton candy in it. There's vetiver, I think cedar in this one too. Uh, so although it's bright raspberry, uh, you know, fruity, zingy fragrance it still has kind of a nice base to it and i love the cotton candy aspect in this one too so both of these ones are really quite sweet uh but i just love them and they're like raspberry to me is probably the happiest berry <laughs> if i were gonna be a berry i would be a raspberry <laughs> raspberries are my favorite fruit like just talking about them makes me my mouth water i love I love everything raspberry. It's just my absolute favorite. So yes, I love those two. I have one other one. It's uh, Girl of Now Forever 
but I'm gonna eventually get rid of it because it's it's raspberry but it also has lemon zest and it's so sharp that it's not a favorite so I'm trying to stick with uh, my absolute favorites today so the next uh, kind of segment of fragrances that I have for you are my blackberry or my like darker berry uh, kind of selection. So the first one is Sophia by Sophia Vergara. Now this is one of my cheeriest perfumes as well. I just, I love this one. It's quite classy out of all of these perfumes. This is one of the classier fragrances, I think. Uh, this one has blackberry and plum in it. I definitely get the plum, but you also get that blackberry note. It's deeper. It's a little bit, it's flirty, but a little bit sexy at the same time. Uh, I find that the juiciness of the plum and the blackberry stays for the whole entire time of this perfume and it's one of my absolute happiest perfumes as well. I love this perfume. It, you wouldn't think it because it doesn't look that major of a dent, uh, but I do use this one a lot. Now another one that I, I haven't really talked about it and I, I still haven't decided if I love it, but I thought I would mention it. Uh, because it's kind of an interesting fragrance is Hany Mori. Uh, I think by Hany Mori. <laughs> like, I think it's, yeah, I think it's Hany Mori is the name of the perfume. So this one is again kind of a more uh, dated fragrance, has been out for a while. Now, this fragrance has strawberry, blackberry, black currant, and blueberry in it. I would be expecting, you know, something a little bit like this because it has so many of the darker berries in it. But what I get is just primarily strawberry. It's quite synthetic. Um, you're getting kind of a strawberry vanilla. Yeah, strawberry vanilla. A little bit, a little bit plasticky, but it's kind of growing on me. So uh, I've got to try this one and wear it like a few days in a row and just see. Um, there's a vibe about it that kind of reminds me of Burberry Her. It's not the same. Um, I do have a little a little decant of Blueberry Her. I should compare the two at some point. Um, this one is missing that kind of little bit of that Baccarat synthetic vibe. This one smells just more like strawberry, like like a strawberry doll, <laughs> or you know the strawberry something plastic that's strawberry it smells like this it's kind of weird but i kind of like it and it's kind of addicting so it's yeah that's all i can say about it the the longevity on this one isn't great but definitely you keep that strawberry smell uh, and then there's a bit of vanilla as along with the plastic which normally is so not my vibe but this one I, it's growing on me for sure so the next fragrance I have for you is Amethyst Lalique. Now, uh, this one has really similar notes to Hany Mori. So this one has blackberry, blackcurrant, blueberry, mulberry, big strawberry. I'm not sure what big strawberry is. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it. So this one, this one, like where this one is sweet, this one is just refreshing and slightly green. So this one smells... Uh, like there's just you've been walking in the woods and it's just like there's all sorts of berry bushes everywhere and you've been walking in the woods in the rain and so you're smelling the the watery rain smell with the 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 wood and the green and the berries all kind of mixed together and then maybe go up to the the fruits and or the bush and you kind of stick your face in it and smell everything together. That's kind of what you're getting from this. There's no sweetness. You're getting underripe berries, maybe a little bit ripened berries. I've just sprayed it somehow all over me, but uh, this one is just really beautiful. It's not for everyone because it's not your typical fruity fragrance, but I just think it's beautiful. It's so refreshing. And so if you're wanting something that's kind of refreshing, that's uh, a little different uh, for spring and summer. Give this one a try. When I first smelt this one, I thought, ugh, it's old lady. But then the more I smelt it and the more I tried to figure out what I was smelling, the more I loved it. So if you're wanting something where it's it, you want uh, just refreshing, kind of a little bit tart berry, uh, this one, I, I don't know, I just think this one is so unique and cool. I uh, love it. The next section of fragrance I fragrances I have are kind of 
more tart, uh, you know, just a little bit tart-ish uh, type fragrances for whatever reason. Uh, they've got kind of tartar fruits in them. The first one is Trois L'Imperatrice by Dolce & Gabbana. This one just smells like a, like, like you've cut up watermelon, rhubarb, kiwi, uh, and you've, you've uh, put the, all those fruits in your water, let's say. Or you've got them all in a big huge bowl and you're just kind of slowly munching away as you drink like just a, a plain seltzer or soda. That's what I get out of this. This isn't fizzy, uh, but this one is just really refreshing. To me, it's got quite a lot of musk in it, although I don't think musk is listed. Uh, I notice a muskiness to it, but the fruit is just really cheery, invigorating, great for like, you know, summertime when you're just wanting something just uh, bright, a little bit airy or watery. This one's great. So the next two that I have for you are both a little bit more seductive, sexy fragrances, but still fruity. The first one is Fleur de Femme by La Rive. Now this is supposed to be a dupe for uh, Poison Girl. Um, this one though has slightly different notes. This one has sour cherry, bitter orange, and peach. And I definitely get that. Like it's kind of like you've mushed the, the three fruits together and that's what you're smelling along with some almond. So this one is definitely fruiter, fruity, but it's on the more sensual, sweet, a little bit syrupy uh, side. I love this one. It kind of reminds me of a sangria somehow. I'm not sure why. Uh, I actually haven't smelled a sangria <laughs> in like years. So uh, I'm not quite sure, but for whatever reason, that's just what I think of when I smell it. So anyway, uh, this one's beautiful, super sexy. Uh, definitely, I would say it's it's the the lesser of the fruits that I have. So this one is definitely fruity, but because that almond is such a major player in it as well, uh, it's not as fruity as the rest, but super sensual and sexy. Uh, one that's kind of equal to that would be my Pure Royale by Frederico Mahora 900. Now this is a dupe for Lost Cherry. Uh, I think that this one is a really close dupe actually. I've got a little decant of Lost Cherry and this one's pretty darn close. Uh, the Lost Cherry Cherry is a little bit brighter but this one you can smell it throughout the whole entire time you're wearing it. So this one has Lost Cherry and Plum lost cherry. <laughs> this one has sour cherry and plum. Now, uh, I don't really notice the plum, although I, you get this booziness with this fragrance that's just so delectable. There's a bit of almond in it as well. So uh, this one isn't to me as almond heavy as this one, uh, but you definitely get that little bit of almond in it. This one's more boozy. This one smells a little sangria-ish, but this one smells like cherry liqueur, a little bit of that darker uh, tartar cherry. Um, I love this one. It's so sexy. It's so delicious. Now this one has kind of more of a woody dry down, but I still have that cherry throughout the whole entire wear of the perfume. So I thought I would include this one. Uh, Lost Cherry is super expensive, so checking out the Frederico Mahora dupe or a different dupe, if you know of one, uh, might be a great idea. I think Dua has some great dupes for Lost Cherry as well. I'm really happy with this one. Be Layered has one called uh, Cherry Delight or something like that. So uh, yeah, you can find great dupes. This one is really, really close though, so I love this one. The next fruit note that I wanna talk about is pear, and pear is my absolute favorite uh, fruit in perfume right now. I just, I absolutely love it. I can't get enough of it. It makes me happy. It's warm, but it's juicy, and I love it. So. My first one is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This one is pear, vanilla, and vetiver. And that, that pear note is just stunning. This smells, though, like a caramelized pear. So it smells like you've taken that juicy pear, it was super ripe, and then you've, uh, you've kind of, like, I just think about it being, uh, what do you call it, poached in some sort of like wine maybe like which you know something spicy a little bit warm and then uh you drizzle caramel all over it that's what this reminds me of it smells like a baked 
pair somehow. So a little bit, a little bit of spices in there, which I think come from the vetiver. Uh, but oh, this one's beautiful. It's sexy. It's girly. It's uplifting. And I think the thing about pear is it's it's quite sensual, uh, but it's like yeah, there's there's a juicy sexiness to pear, but it's also really uplifting. So Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, Label, one of my absolute favorite fragrances. Oh, love it. Now the next one is Be Layered's Dolled Up. Now this is a dupe for Supreme Bouquet by YSL. And uh, I love this one. This one again has pear. Uh, it also has um, fruits in it. So pear and fruits. Now uh, what I find is a lot of times pear will be uh, paired <laughs> with a two bros and they go so well together and this fragrance and the next one both have pear and two bros this one i can definitely smell the fruits in there as well like whatever the like it almost smells like dried fruits in there uh but i just think this one is beautiful it's uplifting the two bros is creamy and kind of bright uh, and yeah, the pear is just juicy, delicious. It smells like a very, very ripe pe uh, pear. The pear smells like a very, very ripe peach. <laughs> no. <laughs> now the last one uh, in my pear category is L'Entre D by Givenchy. This is my favorite fragrance right now. I had it on earlier and I'm just going to spray myself in it again. Oh, oh. I just love this fragrance. It is so sexy. It's so delicious. You can wear it in the day, but I think you can wear it in the evening as well. The pear is super, it's kind of juicy, but warm. It's got tuberose. It's creamy. It's delicious. It's, it's a little bit heavy. It's quite sweet, but I just love it. Like these two here. Oh, just love them. So those are my pear fragrances. And I'm going to share one other. Um, this one is a citrus and I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to choose it, but it's not your typical citrus. I find a lot of times, like if you've got bergamot or lemon or orange, uh, I don't think fruity. I think citrus. This one forever, whatever reason, I think fruity and it's Ellie Saab Royal, uh, Le Parfum Royal. So this one, uh, the, the fruit note is mandarin orange, but somehow paired with that rose, it smells so delicious. It smells delectable. It smells like you, you get that huge burst of orange, but it's like a warm orange, but a little bit tart at the same time. It, it smells like the best tart, ripe orange you've ever taken, like where you pl pluck it off the tree. It's warm from the sun and you bite into it and the juice just flows and it's super sweet. That's what you get from this one. And I just think it's gorgeous. So those are my fruity fragrances, the ones that just I really love. I have a few more in my collection that I don't reach for near as much, but these are ones that are kind of current rotation and I am loving them for the spring and summer season. So yeah, what is your favorite fruity fragrance right now? Uh, or, or do you hate fruity fragrances? I happen to love them and that's why I've got so many in my collection. I would love to know what ones you have that I haven't mentioned uh, so I can go check them out. The one that I'm actually really interested in right now is uh, Scandale à Paris. Um, so I really, I'm tempted to get that one. I found a good deal for it. So um, yeah, I may get that one because that one has pear and tuberose, I believe in it. So I'm really curious. I would love to be able to sniff it beforehand, but I don't know if I can. So that's the one I'm kind of interested in right now. What ones are you currently interested in or what is your favorite one? I would love to know. And beyond that, I hope that you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.